Getting a proper branded smartwatch that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars sometimes is just not so practical. And especially when you want to use it for sports or go on to adventures and don't want to scratch up your expensive precious gadget. So today we're taking a look at a smartwatch that is tough, has pretty much all the features you need for your adventures, and let's take a look at it to see whether they are any good. Welcome to a review of the Z-Blaze Stratus. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do a lot of tech reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with the review of the Z-Blaze Stratos. So today's smartwatch was sent over to me from Z-Blaze and when they reached out to me to check out their latest smartwatch, I was intrigued by all the features that you get in this watch itself. And the Stratus, despite its feature-packed capabilities, retails at an affordable USD 50 and that's about 208 Malaysia Ringgit. So you're getting pretty good value for everything that you're getting with this watch. So if you're interested in getting this smartwatch, do check out my links in the description below. The Stratus is a very professionally designed smartwatch and even with the box, you can see that they spare no efforts in the design and it actually looks like a way more premium watch. So the watch itself has a very sleek design with very flowy bands coming from the middle of the case all the way down. You can see that the shape tapers down very nicely. And the watch itself is made of a combination of materials and starting with the case itself all the way at the bottom here it comes with a carbon fiber reinforced polymer case i don't know if it's real carbon fiber and i doubt so but it does look pretty nice and the bezel up here is made of a zinc alloy metal so that's very strong and the buttons that you get with the case here as well as the buckles are made of stainless steel so they are pretty hardy materials overall definitely a watch suited for your adventures the strap here that z blaze uses is a 22 millimeter silicone strap with quick release so if you have any 22 millimeter bands that you like to use or want, want to swap out the bands you can always do that very easily and the band here is also soft and nice uh, very easy easy and very nice to wear on your hands but the only problem or complaint that I have is that they are very grippy and they are very hard to put into this rubber piece here so that's my only complaint with the design. So the main display that you get here is a 1.32 inch 360 by 360 resolution display and it's honestly not the most amazing screen and perhaps because of the processor you can't cram in too much graphic enhancement so you see that the image and the graphics here don't have anti-aliasing and looks really rough around the edge. And at the bottom of the case, you also get a bunch of sensors. And at this budget price point, I'm really surprised that this watch actually has quite a lot of sensors here. And you get SPO2 monitoring, which is getting very common nowadays with budget smartwatches, and as well as a sensor for 24 7 heart rate monitoring. And at the side here, you'll also be getting some charging pins and Z-Blaze makes it very easy for you because they come with a cradle. So you don't have to struggle with aligning your watch with the charger. So that's very convenient. Battery life with the Z-Blaze is very impressive and perhaps it's the lack of flagship chipset and the interface is also not that demanding. But Z-Blaze raised the Stratos to have about 14 days of use with standard smartwatch feature like your heart rate monitoring, sleep tracking and some notification. Personally, I've been using this watch for a couple of days and you can see that the battery life is slightly around 70%. I use it to go to sleep and all so that's the performance that you get for the battery and since this watch comes with built-in GPS you also get 40 minutes of continuous GPS tracking on this watch honestly not too long but at least it comes with GPS charging the watch up from empty should take roughly around two hours so the Stratos comes with a Bluetooth 5.0 chipset which is sufficient for syncing data to your smartphone really quickly but it doesn't have any other feature like for you to connect external power meters or heart rate sensors to it. So the watch is also rated to be 50 meters water resistant so you can bring this watch swimming and it should do really well with tracking your swims as well. Some of the key features of this watch includes your 24-7 heart rate sensor, SPO2 monitoring, sleep tracking, stress monitoring, barometer, altimeter, as well as your compass. So from a watch standpoint, this is super well spec. So not to mention that the watch also comes with a built-in GPS and I'm honestly quite impressed that a budget watch at this price point actually cared enough to put GPS in so you can track your workouts. 
So the watch is really simple and the interface is also very basic and similar to many budget smartwatches out there that we checked out before. So from the home screen itself, you can press and hold on the screen uh, for a while and you can go and change your, some of your watch faces and you get about nine preloaded uh, watch faces here to choose from and you can also add additional watch faces but for any custom watch faces you can only sing one watch face at a time so that's one of the limitations of most of this budget smartwatch so swiping from the bottom itself you get your notification center and if you previously have a notification here this is where you will see them and swiping from the left itself this is the same as swiping from the right so you're gonna get some of the different widgets here so the first one you get is all your sports tracking and you get over 100 sports tracking to choose from here here, but the interface isn't too smooth and frankly very laggy you can see as I scroll here it's not the it's not the smoothest uh, experience here so clicking onto any spots for example if I click on cycling uh, if you press go it will start to look for a GPS and if it doesn't uh, find any GPS it will just start or you can just skip to start your workout so that's pretty cool so the next widget here is a summary of your training and you can scroll through to see what your times for your workouts are and if you're training for a marathon these are your timings so it's pretty nice and cool to see your training status and next you also get a heart rate monitor widget uh, next to that you get a stress management monitoring uh, then after that you get your SpO2 monitoring and next to that you get a menu that spins around and Honestly, it's not the 90s anymore, so we don't need color displays to show how capable they are with animations. And with a spinning menu like that, it means you don't get consistency and finding your apps becomes troublesome. So hopefully this can be removed in future updates. And next to that spinning menu, you get an activity ring for you to check out your day. And so that's basically all of the widgets you get. Swiping down from the top, you get your command center. And here is where you can have your silent mode, your screen brightness, uh, flashlight so that it changes the screen to a white screen you can use it as a flashlight you have your stopwatch your timer and your settings so that's basically how you navigate the watch interface of the zblaze stratus so the app of the Stratos is simple and you have to download this app called Zerona to connect the watch. So inside the app, the first page gives you a summary view of your health, your activities, your sleep and everything else. And you can click into each of the tiles to see more details about your health. So let's take a look at my sleep last night. And so here it recorded about six hours of sleep. So that's not a lot, but pretty okay. But you can see that it tracks uh, things like light sleep and deep sleep. And it's supposed to track REM as well but I think it did not track that part so you do get uh, some additional information here uh, and it also analyzes your sleep performance so to be honest for a budget smartwatch this is actually really detailed and cool so you can also look at your heart rate you know how how your heart rate has been and so on and so forth going to the next page itself under device this is where you get your uh, smartwatch information your battery percentage so you can see that the battery that i have here is about 78 percent after a few days of use uh, and here you can click into watch faces and this is where you can get uh, some of the watch faces loaded into your smartwatch but to be honest it's not a lot you can see i have reached the end of the uh, watch faces here so you can just choose whichever that you like and sync it to your watch at the bottom here, there are a couple of shortcuts that you can set up for your watch. Uh, the first one is alarms and schedule, so you can set your alarms. Uh, message notification if any of your apps that you want push to your watch. Uh, sedentary reminder, so that it reminds you to stand up after seating for too long. And there's a remote camera here, and if you click on this, your watch will go into a remote control mode. And it uses its own camera app inside the app here uh, to take pictures. So you can see my hand here. Hello. And that's the remote camera feature. Uh, here you can also set race to wake. So it'll detect when you turn uh, your wrist and light up the display. You can set how long the screen will light up for before going back to sleep. Your unit of measurement, date format, wearing uh, left or right hand, vibration, as well as firmware upgrade. So that's basically all of the controls you get with the Zblaze Stratos app. So comparing the accuracy of the heart rate sensor and the SpO2 sensor, I can see that the Stratos is pretty accurate compared to a dedicated oximeter, but you do see it fluctuate a little bit. And it's usually a variation of about 1 or 2% for the SpO2 and about 2 to 3 BPMs for the heart rate sensor. So if you're wondering whether this is an accurate tool, then yeah, it's pretty accurate. 
So overall, if you need a watch that can do a lot and doesn't cost too much, then this definitely is value for money. Comparing with the Soundpiece Watch Pro 1 that we previously looked at, this is definitely miles ahead. What I would hope to see improve is the processor so that the entire watch experience can be smoother and less laggy, as well as a higher resolution OLED display. But again, at this price point, it's not really fair to complain about those features. It's nice to have, maybe in the future. So that is it for this review. If you find this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button, share this video everywhere. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.